recently released a greenhouse gas emission reduction proposal. It has a lot of people in conservative states taking legal action, claiming it will increase utility costs. Local News 8's Chris Nesman talked to the Rocky Mountain Power about this proposal. Chris, do they think the changes will force them to raise their utility rates? You're not going to like my answer, Carol, but it's a maybe. Rocky Mountain Power says a lot of it depends on how state and federal governments get along before they make any particular changes. The EPA wants the EPA wants to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases that America produces by 30% by the year 2035. Several states are outright against the idea. The Idaho Governor's Office of Energy Resources says the EPA doesn't have the constitutional authority to make such drastic changes. Rocky Mountain Power says they want flexibility that will allow them to meet the EPA's demands without having to dramatically raise consumer rates. We think a lot can be done through cooperation and uh, so we're, we are hoping that reasonable minds can come together to try to keep electricity costs down and try to reduce the carbon emissions going into the air. Now, we also talked to the governor's office of energy regulation, and they said that they said two things with regards to these EPA proposals. First off, the Idaho's carbon emissions are some of the lowest in the country, and we shouldn't have to reduce our rates as much as other states. And secondly, they said if the EPA does want to continue, that they should allow Idaho to build on federal land the infrastructure that's needed. Reporting live in Idaho Falls, I'm Chris Nestman. All right, thank you, Chris. Idaho has yet to take legislative action on the EPA's proposal, and the governor's office says they probably won't take any action until the proposal is finalized.